Hello there everybody, Dmod Gmod here, and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. In the last chapter, we finally finished the uh, battle inside of Eternia, and we have decided now it is finally time to take our stand and start charging against Burn to retake the continent. So, in our first step, we saw that Rotes and Arcade have decided to retreat and run over to Sake. And we took care of... Cord? We took care... Took care... What's the proper word for that? Took care of... Yeah, took care of, doi. Took care of Arcade. And we're going deeper into Sake, and hopefully we're going to find Rotes next, because he is a problem if we leave him be. So that being said, moving on to Chapter 18, The Law of Sake. Let's go. And I had a failed recording of this. Not a character death, but Roy died, so I have to restart. Not enjoyable, but oh well. Oh, I love this music. After defeating Arcade, Roy crossed the border to enter the lands of Sake. After Burn invaded, the Dejuke clan, the most powerful clan in Sake, became its servant. Most of those clans who stood up against the two joint forces had already been decimated. Although the Silver Wolf Diane, the leader of the Kudala clan, had been battling with Garul Garulia tactics, I'm gonna go with that. The situation was dire. Sake had basically become a territory of Burn. That ain't good. Now, as Roy set foot on the plains of Sake, the warriors of the Jujut clan stood in his path. And with that being said, welcome to one of the biggest maps in Fire Emblem 6, if not the biggest. This thing's huge! Alright, before we go into anything, let's take a look at the map here. Look at all the enemies. Sure, doesn't look like too much up here, but you gotta realize that most of them have 7 movement because they're all horseback. In fact, some of these guys, being a matter of troopers, have 8 movement. So these guys, they move really fast around the map. There are horse riders everywhere in this map. And even though this looks like a lot already, there's gonna be reinforcements. There's gonna be reinforcements. They're all gonna be coming from these houses here. So long story, long story short, lots of enemies gonna come at you very fast. So while it may look like you have a lot of space to work, be careful. Next thing I should mention, the boss here. This boss, Monker or Monkey. Monka? I think it's Monka. I think you're supposed to pronounce it Monka. I don't know. Monka here, I'm gonna say it like that. It's a level 9 Nomad Trooper with some pretty intimidating stats. 20 speed and 15 strength. That's kind of scary. But what's really scary about him is his weapons. Two brave weapons, a brave bow and a brave sword. Meaning that if you attack- wait one second. His weight is 12, his con is 8. Okay, so he loses 4 speed. So if you come at this guy with a unit with 12 speed or lower, they are gonna get hit 4 times by this guy. Very, very scary. Be careful. So yeah, he's a pretty tough guy. With 42 HP, some pretty solid stats. He's a tough one. He's a tough one. But not unbeatable, thankfully. Oh, also, he's on the gate here. This gate gives him plus 20 avoidance and plus 3 defense. So that free defense you see there, add that to his defense. So he's actually 16 defense and his actual avoidance is 64. Yeah. He's a tough one. Now, when it comes to the units we're picking here, I actually had a really hard time picking who I wanted to bring along this chapter because... I just really couldn't decide. There's a lot of- I had a, lot, a few empty spots because, uh, Laylum died. Sad. But yeah, I had some empty spots to fill in, so I kinda just filled in with random mutes. However, on second thought, I'm not gonna bring Douglas, and instead, I'm going to be bringing... Probably Echidna, to be honest. I think I'm gonna bring Echidna. Actually, 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 better idea. I'm going to- I'm gonna break my rule this one time. And we're gonna bring Percival. Not because I need Percival per se, but because of the fact he's so mobile, and the fact he can help units by getting around this super large map quickly, I think he's gonna be very useful. And also, while we're at it, I'm going to buy him a Iron Sword. Due to the fact I don't want him killing enemies, I just want him weakening enemies. So, these silver weapons, I want them gone. I just want to use the Iron Sword, not because it's a bad idea to let him get kills, because if you're going to use Percival in the long run, then yeah, definitely give him kills. He's definitely a character who can use them. But yeah, that's my strategy behind it. Just make sure he doesn't go overkill. Uh, Alan's going to be coming along. Ignory's coming along. S I wanted a healer, so I'm going to bring Celicelia. Uh, Merlinus is coming because I wanted to do some s the shop stuff. Lance is coming. Thaw's coming. Geese is coming. Sophia, Sue, Lilina, you guys know the party besides that. It's pretty simple. I've also decided I'm gonna bring my Berserk Staff. Now, Berserk Staff, for those you don't know, for those who don't know, 
Basically, make it so an enemy loses control and attacks anything that they can attack near them. This means ally or enemy, so be careful. Actually, before I do this, let me go look. Is there any other stats that are more worth it? Uh... You know what, actually? Because of how freaking big this map is, I think I'm actually going to bring a uh, rescue staff. There we go. I think that does it, though. Looks like it. All right. Let's save the game. And let us begin. Chapter 18, The Law of Sake. What's going on over here? The entire army has appeared from the west. Good. Draw them into a territory as planned. We shall show them our strength. Have the other clans been notified? Yes. Although there are many clans who are expressing their discontent towards our alliance with Burn. Alliance. Alliance with Burn. Further invasion by Aterian forces seem to require more attention. I see. The Eternal Army should be easier to deal with than that Silver Wolf since the Eternal Army is an invasion force. The clans will unite to fight against the invaders. Yes. That is the law of Sake. When we were up against the Silver Wolf, no one aided us because they saw it as a conflict between the clans. But now we have Burn behind us, so we do not need any help. Exactly. Then, of course, there are many of us- wait, there are many who don't like the idea that it is Burn who is actually control of Saki's politics. Yes. I heard there are many clans who agree with the Silver Wolf's guerrilla- gor I don't even know how to pronounce that. Guerrilla tactics, yes. Guerrilla tactics and join forces with him. He is stubborn. His clan was defeated, so he should join us. It is not as if he doesn't know what happens to those who try and fight a head-on battle with Burn. Even large cities like Bulgar have been attacked and taken over by Burn since they resisted. From now on, those who are strong enough to manipulate the situation around them will survive, like us. And right now, we must use the Law of Sake to do so. Oh, let's go up over here. Princess Gunnevere. We're getting close to Burn's army. Yes. Since we're getting closer, we are clashing with soldiers from Burn more and more often. It will not be long until we engage in full combat with Burn. I wish I'd ask you something before we do. What is it? I've been hearing rumors. A king Zephyr rose to the throne because he killed his father, the former king. I could not believe it. You tried to stop him by casting away your nationality. If King Zephyr is such a bad individual as the rumors say, then you would not wait. Then you would not have thought of doing it what you did. This is gonna be. I accept the fire. I'm not to use it in battle, but to try and find a use for it to end this war peacefully. Roy. Therefore, please tell me the truth about the rumors. I, I'm sorry, please just give me some more time. Now, before we've ended off this text box here, first of all, I'd like to point this out. This shows why I like Roy a lot. He has thought. You know, a lot of people depict them, mainly because of Smash Bros, as some crazy, like, red-headed... I don't mean literally, but like, full-on, like, you know what I mean? Like, he seems, in the Smash Bros series, they make him seem like... I don't know, he just is a lot more mature than what you'd think from him, if you just played Smash Bros. I like it. So yeah, with that being said, let's go. Now this map field, I'm gonna be quiet for a moment. Here comes the best part, folks. Hit it. Oh, that harp is so heavenly. Alright, folks, let's get this started. Chapter 18. First things first, we are in a corner of this map here. And we are surrounded by enemies who are going to be coming towards us very quickly. So we're going to want to fortify, fortify ourselves very quickly. So here's what I'm thinking of doing. We're going to have Gonzalez go up here in the front. I'll have him equipped a... I always have to quit the Iron Axe, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna have Roy go here. I'll have Lelina go here to give uh, Gonzalez his boost. Um, Merlinius, I'm gonna wait uh, turn before I send you in. 
Okay, Sophia, I'm gonna send up here. I'm gonna first of all go up here and make sure Sophia can't get hit by anything crazy. You know, I know she can't for this turn. You're gonna go here, and then basically besides that, we're kind of just stuck waiting. I mean, if I want to, I can have Sue attack you, because Sue can actually go in water now. Wait, is this a river tile? Yeah, Sue can actually go in river tiles now, now that she's a nomad trooper, so that's pretty cool. She can actually hit this guy, which normally she couldn't, so that's really neat. And we missed, so we're not gonna get the kill. Whatever, though, good damage. It's still so awesome. She can double the steel bow, no problem. Like, she can double almost... I think she can double literally every enemy left in the game with a steel bow. That's crazy. Uh, so, Celia, I don't really have a use for you this turn, so you can just wait. And then, Lance and Alan, you can just kind of hang out together, I guess. I don't know, build some more support or something. Because now we're basically just waiting to get through this. We're, now we're kind of just have this choke point covered, as they call it. So now we just need to wait for them to come to us. Uh, now, over here at Merlinius, I'm going to go over here, and we are going to be selling a bunch of stuff. Because I want to try and have a lot of money coming up, because there's some really awesome stuff you can buy soon. That I really need the money for. So, as you can see, maybe a big space, but there's a lot of enemies coming your way. Also, this guy just got himself killed, so I hope he's proud of himself. There we go, nice and easy. Now, these regular Nomad characters, or Nomad units, they're really not that scary. Like, they're pretty pathetic, honestly. The Nomadic Troopers, though, you gotta be a little bit more careful about, as you're gonna see here. Actually, I forgot, they have short bows, for some reason. Yeah, short bow, uh, did I ever mention short bow is not the greatest weapon in the world? Like, maybe when you first get a Nomad, like earlier in the game, it's an okay weapon, but at this point in the game, no, the short bow is super outclassed. Whatever, though. If they want to use bad weapons, I'm totally okay with that. Now, that being said, I don't think I'm going to be staying here the entire time. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have Gonzalez go out here. I'm going to have him equip the Sword Dreamer, and I'm going to have him... Wait a minute. Do one of these guys have a Killer Edge? I think one of them does. No? Really? Ah, there you are! I was going to say, there's way too many Myrmidons here for one not to have a Killing Edge. Just saying, because if you have this many Myrmidons, I'm expecting the Killer Edge. And ooh! That's great. They didn't need the crit at all. In fact, you would have just flat out one shot at him, no problem. But I'll take it. That puts Gonzalez at level six Berserker. HP, skill. Yes! Level up that skill, Gonzalez. Yes! Exactly what we want. Now, I've tried, actually. I sent Roy out here before thinking, oh, Roy can probably live if I put him in a bush. Yeah, turns out Roy can't live for crap. He's really underwhelming. So instead, we're going to have to send out some of our other units. So I'm going to send out Rucker with the. Ah, Iron Blade, just go for it. It's okay if we use a little bit of our stronger weapons. Forgot to mention that I'm actually bringing Durandal and uh, Rucker just in case uh, Monka over there uh, proves to be a problem. I have Durandal here because Durandal kills everything it looks at. It's pretty great. Anyways, uh, who should we move next? Okay, I'm gonna move Sophia here. Uh, Percival. You can go there. I'm just trying to make- I'm basically just trying to make a safe hole for Roy so that Roy can get in there. Like, he can start moving forward, but he won't get killed. So I'm gonna move Roy there, and then I'll have Geese move over here with his massive HP bulk. He should be fine. Uh, Fa, you're fine no matter what. Nothing here can hurt you. Fa's a really freaking amazing dragon little girl thing. I don't even know what she is, to be honest. Okay, well, I do know what she is before you flame me in the comments, but you, you know what I mean. She's really good, is what I'm trying to say. And hey, look at this. We can actually increase Sue's sword rank. Not bad. That's something I actually really want to get done, because Sue with an Iron Sword, solid. Sue with every other sword, really damn solid. And no one's even been hurt, so I guess I'll just keep you there. And then Ellen, I'll have you go here. No one needs healing yet. And Igri, I'm going to have you go here. And Merlinius, uh, let's see, what can I sell what's in here? Okay, we do not need this many Iron Lances, so I'm going to get rid of, like, two... Uh... I don't think we need this many men's either, so I'm gonna get rid of two men's. Okay, go to shop. They do have dark magic here, but to be fair, we have enough magic, in my opinion, for the last of a while, so we don't need to buy anything. Okay, I wanna come out of this chapter with probably 8,000. Like, 8,000 would be, like, where I'm happy with. Okay, come at me! Mermidon versus Swordmaster! We already know how this goes. There's one, and crit! Yep, there it is. Ah, it's been a while. I won't lie. Okay, now, now, I don't know why I opened up if I don't want to lie. It's not like it's a bad thing, but... Okay, kind of is a bad thing, but... 
This is my first recording. I'm doing a Fire Emblem 6 after the whole mic catastrophe happened, as I call it, where like I couldn't get my microphone to work properly, but hopefully now it's back and back for good, or at least for a long time. So, ooh, nice crit. So yeah, I'm a little out of loop here, but I'm hopefully still doing a nice job commentating. I, I hope. I, I hope you like this video, but anyways, moving on. Hey, oh, right, I forgot the Wyvern Riders are going to come soon. And, ooh, four, 17. Ouch. I knew the magic, but like, dang. Okay, thank you. And that dodge basically guarantees no, no one can basically die this turn, which is great. So what I'm thinking of doing, because those Wyvern Riders, they have crap resistance, and they also lose a lot of our units that we have over here. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to bait them out with Percival, and then I'm going to have Sophia come in and get the kill for some XP. Because while Sophia is definitely a lot closer than she used to be, I still would like her to try and hit that level 20. We are going to promote her soon. Like, her promotion's coming soon. I just want to try and get her as many levels as possible before the promotion. Because there unfortunately will be a point where if I don't promote her, she just becomes dead weight. She'll be back to where when she came onto the army, essentially. Anyways, so, though, I see putting Sue here basically just draws them all towards her, which is actually pretty good. If I put her in the trees here, then I don't think anyone can really touch her. So as you can see, we're basically surrounded at this point, and I think this person doubles. Ow. You don't double? Really? Your nomad troopers suck. If I would have, like, tripled geese if it was physically possible. And I was about to say, why aren't they going in front of me? Don't they want to stop me from getting to the bush? But I realized, oh, wait a minute. They're archers. They can't attack from in front of me. I'm dumb. All right, moving on. Let's see here. Uh, your range. Okay, you're actually kind of scary, so I'm just going to... Also, if don't these houses, give plus 10 avoidance. Remember that. Even if you can't really... Actually, no, you can visit these ones. I'm dumb. Wow, I, I knew I was out of it, but like, dang, I'm really out of it. Oh, I have bolting? I can hit someone with a bolting if I wanted to. I can just insta-kill anyone I want, huh? Well, I'm gonna save that for the boss, just in case I need it. Okay, this nomadic trooper needs to go. We got a nice fire for that. Oh, shoot! Ah, Jesus Christ, that hurt. Ooh, I felt that one. Luckily, we're living, but damn, that did a lot. Okay, well, in that case, I know what I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna heal up Lilina. With our nice men staff. Hopefully, this will top her off. I think it should. Yeah, nice and easy. All right. Okay, now back over here to the fight. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna have Gonzales go over here, and I think I'm just gonna have him take up the Steel Axe. Uh, well, let's sack. Yeah, just go over the Iron Axe. We missed. Can we get a crit? Yeah, there we go. I'm totally okay if you want to miss. You want to crit right after. Awesome. Ah, oh, Gonzalez. There's a reason I love you. Okay, and then next up, I'm going to have... Fog over here, and I'm going to Fog rip this freaking horse apart. Nice. Y'all love the good old dragon breath. And ooh, lots of XP as usual. And let's see, level... HP, strength, skill, speed, lock, defense. Yeah, perfect level ups like you'd expect from her. Ah, fuck, you're so awesome. Okay, next up. Uh, I'm gonna use... I'm gonna... I'm not gonna attack, I'm gonna heal. So, Celia's not gonna be used, like, probably ever after this chapter, so... May as well just use her as the healing character I brought her for. What do you have? You have the, no, you have the skill sword. Okay, you're not a threat then. Uh, the chance to hit you, though, is a little bit... Bad, so let me see... Oh, okay, I can't put so. Actually, I probably can. I just have to do a rescue thing afterwards. So, come on, Sophia! I believe! Come on, come on. Yeah! Awesome. Alright, let's see. Okay, well, not that bad, but still not that great experience. Look at her stat. She's come so far. Look at that. 16 magic, nice 17 resistance. She's, she's going places. Okay, now that being said, uh, I'm gonna have Lance go over here, and Lance is going to... Ah, all sword has most accuracy, let's go for it. Nice. Double nice, alright. This is going pretty smooth so far. I don't want to jinx it, but nothing's bad happened. Except that critical hit, but we'll ignore that. Uh, like I said before, Roy actually can't live if I keep him out here. I did the... I, I, I tried it, believe me. It did not work. So, Alan can come over here instead. 
Now, even if Alan has not been used in a while and he also isn't promoted, he is still a monster. Like, Alan and Lance together is still such a good tag team. It's so great. And, ooh. Oh, <laughs> he was not happy about that hit. He just fricked them up. Jesus. And a level. All right. You know what? If Alan hits level 20, I'll promote him to Nightcrest. I don't really have a use for the Nightcrest that we have that Percival brought with him. So, honestly, if, like I said, if he actually just starts doing stuff, I'll just keep him there. Okay, now, Geese, I'm going to send you over here and... Can I not kill you? I don't think I can. Uh, hand Axe? No, Hand Axe isn't going to be the kill. I mean, I'm going to kill if I hit both hits, but like, I'll see if I can just one-shot him so I didn't have to take risk taking damage. Because that 17 is still a pretty hefty amount. Or you can make it, or you can just dodge and make it invalid. And yeah, I knew Berserkers can crit, but holy crap. Can I just talk about how on steroids Berserkers are in this game? They are super bulky in HP, they have super strength, a lot of them have really good speed in this game. Like, sure, Geese does not have like Gonzalez speed, but Gonzalez is like is like the best Berserker ever. But like, seriously, like plus 30 crit, crap tons of attack, and pretty fast, and not that bad of skill, all things considering, it's pretty crazy. You know what? I feel like going a little crazy. The Randall time, baby! Look at those dang numbers. 32 damage per a hit. Freaking Durandal. What a weapon. And then, first of all, I'm going to... Oh! You're the guy with the killing edge. And also, oh, I don't have your attack animations on. Let's go fix that. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, just Percival. Here we go, and Merlinus over here, what are we gonna do with you? Uh, we are not gonna do like, we're not gonna do anything like that. We're going to, anything else I can give away? Okay, the rest of the ends I'm gonna keep, I wanna keep those. Uh, we're not gonna need that many restore staffs. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be needing the lightning books that much either anymore, and besides that, that's good. So, yeah, let's go sell these. That's a nice 1,000, that's a nice 1,800, and there we go. Alright, we're making some money, I like it. Oh yeah, Nick V2, okay. Uh, I'm gonna move her to the woods, just in case the Wyvern Rush try to go, go for her. Wait, who's left? Oh yeah, Sue, hello! Okay, Sue, um... Worst case scenario, Sue... Uh, uh, that doesn't die. I don't think Sue even dies if she gets hit by all three of these guys. Let me see, 6, 12... Okay, she does die if she gets hit by all three, but the chance of her getting hit by all three is extremely slim. Okay, come at me! Ow. Frick you. <laughs> Overkill as hell, but you know what? We'll take it. Okay, now this is where we can... Oh, he has an Axe Reaver. That could have been really bad, actually. And no one's hitting each other. No one's hitting each other. Yay! Luckily, I have a Sword Reaver, so we don't have to worry about this. So as you can see, Roy gets doubled by these guys, and while Roy doesn't die immediately, it does add up rather quickly, so it's a little scary. Dodge, please. Thank you. Dodge again, please. Ow. I mean, hey, we're almost a level up. Not bad, hey? <laughs> okay, let's see, yeah. 13 hit rate, good luck. Awesome. Yeah, those two um, uh, nomadic troopers want to hit Sue, they have to leave the woods, so that just makes it easier for me to kill them, which is great. And you're gonna go for Percival, that's gonna be just fine. Let's dodge Percival. I gotta say, I love Percival's blue armor, I think it looks great on him. Or, I, I mean his blue shade. Because Paladins all love the same sprites, just different colors, depending on which character it is. And I think, I, th I think he looks good in his. Nice dodge. And that's basically the turn right there. Oh yeah, this guy, I forgot, he's an annoying frick who just keeps healing people with his psychic. He also has an Eclipse Tome, but uh, you guys have already seen how amazing that Tome is. Uh, it's not amazing at all, it's garbage. It's probably the worst magic in the entire game. Or in the entire series, perhaps. Or at least this Eclipse Tome. There's different Eclipse Tomes and they act differently depending on the Fire Emblem game, but in this game in particular, Eclipse is easily the worst magic ever. It's terrible. So I guess while I got the chance, I can move uh, Ellen over here. Maybe he's a psychic to heal Sue. I'm not really worried about Sue, but you may as well. There we go. Not bad. Alright, now Sue is totally capable of fighting these guys. So let's see. What else can I do? 
Uh, I don't double you. I can not draw two. Uh, do I, can I weaken one of them? Let's see. No, oh, I forgot. Okay, let's not worry about these guys first. Let's take care of these guys first. So you have an axe reaper, but I have a sword reaper, so I don't care. Goodbye. Nice. All right, there we go. Dragon Lord taken care of. Now the rest of these guys are basically pushovers. Actually, let me see. I can probably weaken you with... Yeah, perfect, actually. I can weaken you with Fa, and then I can probably finish you off with Sophia. But you're promoting you, which will definitely level up Sophia. Okay, awesome. Okay, and then Sophia, I'm gonna have you go here, and... Let me see. Who can attack her? Uh, these guys should basically all be dead by the end of the turn, so I don't really care, so let's just go in. Okay. Uh... Let's go for Flux, why not? Alright, come on, Sophia, 56, I believe in you! Believe! Yeah, alright, I'm getting really lucky, I love this. Nice level up, that puts Sophia at level 17, what'd she get? Luck and resist- Okay, that's a pretty bad level up, but hey, a level up's a level up, I guess. Okay, now you... Uh, actually, wait, Rucker's gonna destroy both- Actually, yeah, I don't even need to worry, I can just do this. Okay, first of all, you can just weaken this guy down, I guess. This is where I probably should have equipped an iron axe or something with him, because... While the idea of weakening use is good, doesn't doesn't really work when Sophia can only move once a turn. <laughs> okay, so I'll have you do that, and then Rucker... I don't need the frickin' Durandal, I got the frickin' Iron Blade, just as good, right? <laughs> See, I don't even compliment Rucker on his critical hits anymore, because he just does them all the time, so it's like, why even bother? Okay, now what can you move to? You can do nothing, you can do nothing, you can do nothing. Alright, you're all pushovers. Moving on. So I think I'm gonna open up with hitting you with my Iron Axe, or at least I'm gonna try to. Yep, that's why I said I'm going to try to. Okay, then, uh... Holy crap, 34 on one hit. Damn, Lelina, I knew your magic was good. But holy crap, what's how strong is your magic anyways? It must be skyrocketing. Yeah, 26, that's really good. Okay, Lance, uh... Yeah, why not Iron Axe, go for it. Ooh! Ah, the Paladin's Crit Animation's really cool. You don't get to see it every day, but... Because it's not one of the critical hit classes, like the Berserker or the... Uh, Swordmaster, but it's still really cool to see. And you're gonna come for Roy. And so are you. Okay, that's not good. You know, before I be an idiot and charge you in the battle, let me go heal Alan. And I'll put Alan... Here. And I'll put Roy a little bit back. And that should make him safe. And I believe you're the only one left. Oh no, right, you too. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm not gonna visit the houses, because the houses, for the most part, are not really interesting, but. Yeah. Give her that nice cover. Yeah, 24 hit rate, good luck. Okay, so with this guy out of the way, that's basically all the Wyvern Riders. Actually, that, not basically, that is all the Wyvern Riders. We're gonna have to deal with this chapter, so that's fine. So now we're just gonna go deal with all the guys down there. Which is the scary part because reinforcements are gonna start coming soon. And these reinforcements, they aren't joking around. These are some tough reinforcements they send. And I probably should have Nosferatu. That way I could actually heal when I hit, when I hit these guys. And you missed the flux. Ah, oh, frickin' heck. Okay, well I hope Sophia's fine. I mean... I didn't really, I, I didn't really think it through. I thought I'd have all these guys down here killed, but I clearly don't. Yada yada yada, okay. You know what I think I'm gonna do? If it's just a battle of Sue and they're not gonna hit me anyways, I'm just gonna fast forward it from here and up because it's getting a little stale. And hey, don't go healing him, frick you. And Sophia is fine, awesome, which means I think I can get Sophia to kill over here. Oh, she even doubles, okay, Nostra- Oh, right, Nostra 2 doesn't double, I should have looked at that. Darn it, well, there goes Sophia's kill. But at least she gets all her HP back, so I guess something, I guess that counts. 
Okay, I'm just gonna send Fa to finish up because I want my other units going up here. And Fa, I don't want her doing too much combat, so I think it's fine to keep her in the back. And god dang! For those that know, that was in fact a critical hit. It's a little, it's, it, you have to look at the animation, but it's a critical hit. Level 7, HP, strength. Oh my gosh, you didn't have a perfect level up? What is this? I call hacks. Okay, anyways, uh. Pretty likely death, let's go for it. We didn't get it, oh well. Nice dodge, and that should be, yep, that's the end of it. Okay, now then, uh, Roy? Can Roy do something? Probably not, let me look. This guy's not a friend, this guy's a literally a free kill, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, in that case, we'll go over here, and who needs a healing? Let's see. Ah, because I was getting a little low on HP, I'll heal him up. You gotta love range staffs, they're so helpful. Okay, there we go. And then I'll leave Percival. Yeah, you, yeah Percival with an iron sword destroys these guys, so. I'll just leave Percival and uh, Rucker to deal with these two, and then I'll send Gonzales downwards towards these uh, to, towards their uh, base, essentially. Or their wigwam. I'm pretty sure that's what you could call them. I'm pretty sure this is what. I'm pretty sure what. Let me, actually, let me see. Okay, it's called a gate, but I'm pretty sure this would be a. This is counted as a wigwam, or a TP, one of the two. Not trying to assault, uh, insult people if they're like, if they're like, uh, Aboriginal, but that's that, that's kind of the theme that they go with. I'm sorry. Anyways, there we go. You're defeated. All right. Let's see. And then Gonzalez, I'm gonna send you down here, and Gonzalez will just freaking plow this guy. Nice. Okay. Now we got our whole army essentially available still to move, and most of their army is dead, but the reinforcements are still yet to come, so don't let your guard down for a second. Okay, so Alan, uh... Actually, that works out. Because what I can do is I can weaken you with Alan, and then Roy can actually get a kill for once, which would be pretty neat. There we go. Alright, before I move Roy though, let me see. Okay, I'll hit you with the Elfire. Easy kill. Okay, there we go. And then after that, let's see, where can you move? You can move there. Can you hit over here? No, you cannot. Okay, so I'm gonna move Sue here, and I'm gonna have Sue... Okay, Sue, I'm gonna need you to do this, alright? Come on, baby. For me! Do it! Yeah! Nice! You ask for a crit, and you shall receive. Alright, and then now Yuri can't do anything, so now I can actually get a kill with Roy, which this is awesome. So now Roy can come down here with an iron sword and get a kill. Ba boom. Which this would put Roy at level 19. Alright, come on, Roy, please, something redeeming. Ooh, okay, he, he did not disappoint. Let's see this 11 strength, 11 defense, and 10. You know what? He, in that one level up, he actually got a hell. Uh, he got like every stat to make himself so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna move Geese here, and then Lance, I'm going to move over here, because this is about where the reinforcements are gonna start spawning everywhere, and this is where it gets terrifying playing this chapter. Also, may as well do some healing. Here you go, Roy. Healing from your mentor. Alright, let's see, level 3, HP, magic, skill. Not bad. Too bad I'm not gonna use her, though. Uh, who's left? Oh yeah, Merlinius, right. You know what, Just for the lulls, come over here. Alright, no enemy reinforcements yet. Looking good, and... Oh, shoot! Ow. Oh, nice dodge. Okay, I'll take that. Actually, does that mean Roy can kill you? Oh, no. Not Eclipse. Ah, the humanity. Psych. That's the wrong number. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see. Can I kill you with the silver sword? No, I can't. Shoot, okay. Can I weaken you? Yes, I can! Awesome! Okay! Roy is getting an- Never mind, unless something else happens. But I can't be dealing dialing too much, I gotta get to this boss ASAP, so... Let me see, rescue... Okay, that's too far. I gotta figure out what's the ideal range so I can get Rucker over here. Okay, now we can use a rescue staff on Rucker. That will warp him next to. Oh, really? You have to warp him above him? 
Uh, her. Oh, well. That's an easy level, because rescue stats give a crap ton of uh, XP. HP, luck, resistance, I'll take it. And a rocker can basically get to save a little bit of movement going down here. Okay, so you can go down here, and now we gotta cover these houses ASAP, because this is where your reports come from, and if you let them start coming out of here all the time, it gets really, it gets really scary really fast. Now, Sela, that's freaking not Celica. So, Celia could die if I do that, so let me see. Eh, frick it, you know what, may as well hit him. Get some XP on Roy. I was semi-hoping for a crit there, but alas. Okay, there we go, and then... You can go over here. And I'm gonna have you just use Nellfire on you. Alright, now it's essentially... I swear to god, if he somehow double dodges. Okay, thank you, jeez. Frickin' 81 is not 81 in this game, I swear. Okay, there we go, you're defeated, and now let us get moving forward. Now, like I said, we want to go over here and capture these huts as soon as possible. I feel like someone needs healing. Yeah, Lena can use some healing, so let me just go over here and use a staff. Now that I think about it, I probably should have had some, uh, some Celia come with a uh, warp or rescue staff herself, so that way she can do, pull in some units too. Help them out. Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna have you move here. Uh, then you move here. Ingrid hasn't really done much this chapter. Now, if I move here, and first of all, I'll have you go. I'm gonna have you do a rescue thing. My enemy phase. Basically nothing, but he's gonna. No, I'm fast forwarding. This is stupid. Whoop to do, Basil. All right, there we go. Now then, let's check on get on to taking on this boss. This guy's a pretty scary guy, so I think I'm gonna have to go full force, hold nothing back against him if I want to win. So that being said, let me make sure I can kill him this coming turn. I want to make sure I can go one clean street to kill him. Also, speaking of which, uh, I'm gonna have you give you to you. That'll impress the turn, and we can bring you all the way over here. I'll land you here, and then... There we go, we're gonna see you there. That way Sophia has cover, and we can have Sophia take on this uh, druid, because that would be some nice XP for her. Okay, now I'm gonna have you go over here, and... You know what? Frick, I have a bolting. May as well try it. Yes, that's right. Closer. Closer. Right into our trap. Card. I had to. Alright, here we go. Miss! Oh, it hit! What the heck? Okay, I wasn't expecting that to hit. And we get a level 2, awesome, let's see. HP, magic, luck, I'll take it. HP is always a good thing on your mages, makes them more a, a little bit more tanky. In fact, I might... That's 28, plus reinforcements could come out, I'm not gonna try it. Okay, we're just gonna keep you there then. I'm gonna really go there, uh... I'm gonna have Alan bring you over here. I'm gonna have Ingrid take over this one, and you can just start end your turn here. Uh, is there anyone who needs healing? Let's see. Uh, uh, Percival, why not? There we are. Nice 43 HP. That should basically make it so no matter what happens, he can survive. And ooh, weapon level increase. That puts us an S rank, if I recall. It does. Not bad. All right. Uh, Fa, you're invincible. You can just go up here. And Melanius, you can go up here as well. Now, here are the evil reinforcements. Only two are free so far, but they get very wor They get much worse very quickly. And guess what? I can fight back now. Or I guess I can always fight back now that I'm promoted. I don't know why I said that. That was weird. Oh shoot! Okay, Ellen dodge, 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 Thank you. That basically guarantees she lives. Okay, awesome. This is what I mean. These aren't some jerkish reinforcements. And oh, frick you! Really? That bolting? Lame. Frick you for that. You know what? Just because of that, I'm gonna go all in. You know what? Screw you, Durandal! Holy weapon! Eviscerate him! Yeah, there we go! Ugh, how could you defeat us? My calculations were flawless. Apparently not. 
That was the cheesiest line I think I've said all day. Anyways, Rucker levels up! Level 7. Speed. I am speed. <laughs> that works. Okay, so Roy is over here. So if I... Okay, let me see here. First of all, we need to make sure Ellen stays alive. Because we do not need our main hero dying. So, Fa, do your thing. Breathe on him. There we go. That's you taken care of. Not bad. Now, we basically need to get Roy in there and have him survive one turn so we can claim the, the gate. That's basically all we need to do. Okay, great. Then we can go down here, and then you, my friend, are free XP, so I'm going to... Oh, you we even double him! Awesome, okay, well then I guess I'll just attack him. Now, he's a promoter unit, even if he's a sucky one because he has Eclipse, he's still a promoter unit, so we're gonna get tons of XP from this. There's one, and there's two. And if I recall, I believe Sophia's weapon rank is already A, but if it isn't, this is definitely gonna help the weapon ranks too. Let me see. And also, Rip Flux. You are a great book. B, okay, so she's gonna get close to A really fast. Okay, then here's the plan. We're going to send... Okay, no, actually, here's the real plan. We're going to take Sue. I'm going to pick up Rutger, get him out of the way. I'm gonna have Alan go over here. No, not released. We're just gonna have Alan go over here. I'm gonna take Percival. We're going to take you. I guess I'll put Roy there. I don't know what I'm really doing, to be honest. Okay, then I'm gonna have Roy uh, get picked up by you. Then I'll have Gonzalez come over here and pick you up. There we go. Actually, this made me. I am an idiot. That just made that just made it so we have to wait a whole extra turn for this thing to end. I is smart. Whatever. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, really? I don't need you missing right now, Ignory. Come on, 81. Well then, uh, I'll just say, just L fire you. 33 damage, holy crap. Still amazes me how much damage she freaking does. It's crazy how strong she is. There we go, and I'm gonna go over here, and I guess I'll... Who needs healing? Why not? I'll heal you up. That way you can actually get in here and do some healing without just flat out dying. Not bad. Alright. Then you can come in and you can heal up you because I want Ellen alive no matter what. Here we go. And I don't really need you just being kept up there so I'm gonna cover two houses like that and then Millennius, uh, you can be bait so if any enemy units come over here they'll go after you. Okay, sweet! Finally! I think we're done here and why do you even bother? You have a lightsaber, which is the exact wrong weapon you want to have here. You're gonna go for Millennius. I'm totally okay with this. Oh no, not Millennius. Ah, uh, I'm sad or something. Let's dodge, and you don't even double when I'm carrying somebody. Pathetic. And you just glitched out again. Oh boy. Because believe it or not, that's not even, that's not even like, uh, okay, it's not really glitched out, it just goes silent for whatever reason. It's not really a glitch, to be fair. And the cool music's back, but I don't want it back right now, I want to finish the chapter. So, Sophia, just, uh, do the thing with the thing. Now, I don't, I don't think there's going to be a level up for her, because she does, you know, a bit more XP now to actually level up. But, let's see. Awesome! Level up! Alright, let's put her level 18. She's almost up there. Let's see. Skill and speed. I'll take speed. That's not bad. And skill too. That's actually a really good level up. I'm underrating that a lot. Okay. Uh, Sue, I'm gonna... I could just... Nah, not you. It's not worth using the Brave Bow. In fact, I don't even know why I have the Brave Bow. I'm not gonna be using that for a long time. There we are. Okay, now you, uh, oh yeah, you're the, you're the one idiot with the Lance Seaver. That means you're no, there, it means you're a pushover for geese. There we go. Okay, and then Percival can go over here, and Percival can knock you out. And that's basically game. I 
Here we are. All right, now I move you over here. Roy's got in the gate, so he's basically unkillable. And all right, you're still here. Okay, well, let's see if I can get a crit on you and finish you. No, whatever. How many uses of Fall have you left? She has 20. Okay, so we're not gonna use her any more than we have to. Let's just use Nellfire. There we go. Awesome! And with that, if I recall, uh, yeah, there's literally no enemies in the field. Let's end our turn. Here comes some nasty reinforcements, but we should be able to survive a turn. All right, come on, Roy. You're in the freaking gate. It should make you invincible. You have 14 defense, and you have a crap ton of avoid. And, oh, shoot. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'm not going to pass a free XP, so I'm just going to go over here and we'll just... I'll just fast forward this, but we're going to kill this guy off. Oh, we got a level up from that. Not bad. Level 2, HP, speed. Okay. And with that, chapter close. That was no easy feat. But now we have our hit our strongest enemy in Sake Hard. Although I'm sure that there are remaining forces somewhere. There must be meaning to plan a retaliation. Can we find out where they are meeting? Well, I sent a spy out earlier. He should be returning soon. I'll go check. And back to this. Is something wrong, Princess Guinevere? I have come to speak about my brother. Is is it all right? Yes. I want you to know, before we enter Burn, about the tragedies that have occurred. You asked me earlier if my brother murdered the former king. Yes. In short, it is true. The king Zephyl indeed killed his own father to seize the throne. No. No? He didn't kill his father to get the throne? No. Our father was the first one who tried to kill Zephyl. What? Then King Zephyl... He couldn't bear the abuse he was taking from our father. And so we... What? Why did... Master Roy! We have found where the enemy is meeting! Uh, what, what's the matter? No, it is nothing. Perhaps later. Did I appear at a bad time? No, it's okay. Where is this meeting place? It is in a city called Bulgar. Bulgar, I've heard of it. It is the largest city in Sake, although now it's been taken down by Burn. Oh. Alright, we'll be heading there soon. Why did the former king try to murder his own son? For those who've come here after seeing Fire 7 or playing Fire 7, you know exactly the whole situation they have over there. Roy, unfortunately, does not know about it, though. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this chapter of Fire of the Binding Blade. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to leave a like, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time when we head off for Bulgar. See you then.